I have been asked to show how I create a schedule from uh, Excel sheet in detail on how I do it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that right now. So the first thing that we need to do is I'm arbitrarily just going to change the A width because this is going to be the column that we put the people's names in for the employees. And so then I'm just going to go to about there. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the columns from B until AF because I know that's going to be 31. And so here we go, AF. And now I have selected them all and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go column width and I'm going to go four. Now that's going to make all my, my column square so we can have our days in there. And so now let's go down to, um, let's go to B4 and I'm going to put in the start date here. So I'm going to start the schedule. I'm going to have it for March 1st because this is the first month I can think of that has 31 days. And so let's go. Um, Two zero two one. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I am going, so that's going to be my start date. So we could possibly put start date up above it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and have the, the first, the first uh, day be that day. So I'm going to go equals and then I'm going to select that cell and press enter. Now you're going to get pound signs on there, but that means that it just doesn't have enough space, but we're going to fix that. Now, what we're going to do to get the next one is we're going to go, we're going to go equals and we're going to select that date. And then we're going to go plus one. And so that, that way they will increase by one day all the way around. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this right across to AF. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we would like to put the days as in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in here. So now we have them selected and we're going to go right click and we're going to go to format cells. And when the dialog box comes up, what we're going to do is we're going to select D three times so we get a three character uh, so we get the the three letters of the of the day. So we're gonna go D D D and then we're gonna go OK. And so then you get your um, you get your your weekdays put in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go below there and we are going to go um, we'd like to put the numbers of the month. So this would be first, second, third. And so what we're going to do again is we're going to go equals and then we're going to go our, our start date and then press enter. And we're going to do the same thing again for the next one. We're going to go equals and we're going to go this one and we're going to go plus one. Okay. And so I'm going to drag that across. And I'm going to select them all. And now what we're going to do is we're going to right click again, select format cells. And then we are going to select just one D. So it's just going to give me the number. Now I'm going to bold these. Okay. So now for us to be able to gray out the date, the dates that are the weekends, what we're going to do is we need to get the weekday of each of these. So um, in the Microsoft world, the Sunday is a one and the Saturday is a seven. So we would like to, um, to find out which day of the week each of these days are. So we go equals weekday and we go um, opening bracket. And then we're going to select the B4 that I, my the information is covering right now. 
and I'm going to press enter. And you see that that's a two. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the fill handle and I'm going to drag it across. And so we said that Saturday was a seven and Sunday was a one. And so there you have the seven and the one and it starts all over again. And so now if we want to um, uh, gray out these days, the days that are the weekends, what we're going to do is we are going to select the dates and we're going to go to conditional formatting. And what we're going to do is new rule. And then we're going to select, use a formula to, uh, to figure out the format. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, if this, if this there, okay, this row here is either a one or a seven. So let's do one first equals one. Now, this is important here. This, this is so it will work. You need to take off the conditional or the absolute reference off these. So what we will do is we will take off the dollar signs before the values on both the B3 and the AF3. Okay, so now we've got the condition. Now we have to set the format. So let's click on the format button. And let's select the third one down here just so that I remember what, which one I've selected. And then we say OK. And we say OK again. And so now all the Sundays should be grayed out. And so they are. So now what we're going to do is we are going to select this again. And now we're going to, to format for Saturday, which is day seven. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go select conditional formatting, new rule, and then we're going to use formula to determine the cells format. And then what we're going to do is we are going to select from here until there. And it's got to equal seven because we've done the one already. Now we're going to take off the conditional or the absolute reference. And then we're going to go to the format. We're going to select the fill. We're going to pick the third one down so it matches the other one. And we're going to say, OK and OK again. So now we have our weekends grayed out here. Now you're left here with the weekdays on top of our, your chart and it kind of looks weird. So there's two ways of doing it. The one way I do it is I just fill it with black and then it, it's all done. But the other way that you can do it is you can select them and, and choose the same color, color for the font which is at the A picked here. So the blue, and then I picked the fill. And so that they all work out. Now, basically now all I have to do is I have to select, select this and make boxes. So I'm going to select a uh, thick border. And now I'm going to select, I don't know how many staff you're going to have, but let's select this many. And I'm just going to put square brackets around them. Okay, so now you can do a number of different things. You can do, um, you can add the total, which is the automatic sum of the hours in here. You can count how many people are if you have days, nights, you can count the N's or the, or, the, or the D's. And then same thing going this way, you can either do an automatic sum in this cell here, or you can use a count feature for counting uh, days, evenings, nights, or whatever comes along. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is we would like to have um, the month here. So it's when you look at the, you don't have to, kind of figure out where the month is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go about the middle of the month and I'm going to go equals 
and I am going to go down to, uh, let's say, this one, and I'm going to press Enter. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to format that, so I'm going to right-click that, and I'm going to select Format Cells, and I'm going to select this time, I'm going to select, instead of day, I'm going to select um, month, 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 so M, M, M. So we get a three character month so that you know what month you're on. And so there you go. So you have the month and you have the formatted days and you have the weekends grayed out. Now, this, this is a dynamic chart. You can change it. So right now we have March. And so let's change that to four. And you would have April and there's your weekends grayed out. You have everything else and you can let's change it to um let's change it to 10 and it all it goes goes along with everything you have october and it's got the the correct weekends grayed out for you so that is how step by step how you make a worksheet look like a schedule if you're interested i have uh introduction to excel i'll have a link below in the description Please subscribe.